Well, we're back. At least I am. I hope you are. Welcome. Glad you're here. We are going to uh, get out of Dodge, so they used to say, or we were led to believe by all those old school cowboy shows and movies and all that. Um, we've been hanging out here in the abandoned mine. We made a couple trips back to uh, resupply a little bit, but um, by and large, we have... Uh, kept things pretty pretty much centered around here. I don't even know. Oh, you know what I should maybe do? Yeah, before we get too crazy up here. For one thing. Don't leave home without these. They're pretty important. Uh, for another, I guess before doing that, we should uh, pop that. And I'm going to throw it there. Um, the reason why is... We don't have a bed. Uh, we haven't slept in an age. Are you ready for some advancements? Let's get them. Oh, come on. Come back. Oh, stop missing. Um... I guess we already got it? Or is it a dependent? That's not going to be in there. Adventure. I guess we'd already gotten it. I don't think we just did, did we? Um, man, we don't have the storm yet. We don't have any villagers around that we know of, but... It'll be something to uh, to look at is our other trident option. Um, at least we can get some use out of the channeling uh, if and when. Maybe get some much needed practice aiming it. It's a fun weapon. Um, oh. Much more effective underwater when we get the uh, uh, bonus, but still nice combo of uh, ranged and close quarters. Did we not hit him? Did he go down a hole or something? Oh, there it is. Where you at? What's the moon? Oh, what? Oh, this is ridiculous. Fire there. I know just standing here through the night wasn't exactly what I had in mind. And works pretty good for the phantoms, right? I mean, it's not uh, not foolproof. <laughs> Do 
do do do do do. <laughs> kind of like the. Uh, I don't remember which one it was when uh, Thor throws his hammer and he's waiting for it to come back. Like, hang on one second. Uh, it'll be here. Oh. He's still going. There we go. Him down. All right. Um... I know, I know. Let's go make a quick drop off of all of this junk. And what we're really trying to do is establish what the path is. Um, I think actually all this stuff, except for the pants, can go in there. So again, we don't have a bed handy. We might have one in the other. Um... I'd just kind of like to keep this lightning loaded as we can. All right, so we came up from here. Our swamp, which is what we're looking for, is somewhere over this way. And remember, we know... There it is. <laughs> wow, so far. Um, so let's make that easy. to not lose track of. So we're going to kind of derp around here for a little bit, but this is the rather mundane... Wow, excuse the hiccups. I don't know what that's all about. So all I'm trying to do is make it very clear which way uh, our little home away from home is so we don't have to go hunting around for it. So we'll just kind of deforest this little hill between us and then maybe cut that down a bit to make it easy to traverse and then we'll be good again I even with that I don't think we're at too much risk of uh, running over for what I want to get done in this episode, which savvy longer term, uh, I don't know, two projects ago, viewers um, are down with, if we count the abandoned mine as a project, uh, I don't know if that really constitutes, but they're fun, and uh, we've, we've had some good times in there, just getting to, getting to our saturation point a little bit, I think is fair to say. So I'm going to keep, if I can get around, I'm going to keep clearing this out just to make this a nice wide pathway. First, I don't know how technically necessary it is, but just like with the mines below, right? Once you got it clear and obvious, it becomes real simple. Uh, to get back and forth. Now, maybe take this down a couple. I don't want to turn into a huge dirt episode, but I think a little bit of this side hill here We'll just make it easy to get back and forth to. Oh, and we got an apple, which is so badly needed. Let's fill up an inventory spot with that. Yeah, we are way long on gold, way short on apples. 
so maybe on our swamp here we'll uh we'll take down the trees those are regular trees and should drop apples as well um really just doing this so we can can make sure that that's all single hop blocks and not have to like pick a path up uh whoa shovel discipline be careful everyone don't dig your own traps Problem with this, of course, is it just gets bigger and bigger as we go. But as long as we don't use up our whole shovel, so we don't have it for the next. Oh, and is this our f fortune? It is our fortune, huh? Neither here nor there, really. question is, do we want to silk touch or fortune in the swamp? I'm thinking silk touch, right? Because transportation, then we can fortune down next to the furnaces. Jam them up. And for anybody still at a loss, eh, just get comfy. I think most know now what I'm talking about. What we're doing, heading over to this one. Ooh, there's a shiny apple. Tasty, tasty apples. A couple of random blocks. Alright, well I think that I don't have to start moving stone or anything, but this should make it pretty easy for us to get in and out of the swamp. Um, maybe not so much there. Let's just see what this has in store for us, though. Is a stone. It's not really like harvesting stone or anything. It's just like making these trees accessible. Oops. I don't want to get too cut into that hill. our storms again like we did so foolishly last time this is the best coffee break though best coffee break we're gonna get without sleeping unfortunately here go all our bulk boxes oh man I want to save those 
We'll be done with this in just a second, right? So we can do all this random stuff. Even the apples are random, technically. All, right, all those go away. Oh, we've got that. Got some torches, bunch of weapons. Let's go. I think we can survive the night pretty well. Just try to get out into the mix. We've also gonna we're gonna get loaded up with another big old batch of dirt here. And just try to keep this as noteworthy as possible. Alright, so here we go. Battle Swamp Knight mode. Just try to work. Those are vines, <laughs> not footsteps. Um, that. Battle Swamp, little little potential for some creeper skelly games, I guess. Um, oh, that's a slime, not a creeper. So, yeah, I'd like to get as much of these cleared out as I can early as possible for lines of sight. Navigation. Game giving us just a minute or two here before the hordes come at us. But they'll be coming soon enough, I have no doubt. These do seem to be clearing. They're just leaving vines and stuff for longest. Now, Creeper Skelly game, I'm down, but, uh, I don't know, oh boy, Like I said, long time since I've used that. Gonna have to just practice up a little bit more. But if you can use it in close, just keeping them at bay, um, it comes back super quick, right? It doesn't have a long way to go to get back into your hand. So you can really kind of rapid fire. Now, with Sweeping Edge and all that, don't, I'm not discrediting the sword that has done us so well. I hear you, Skelly. Yeah. And one more, boom. Yeah, our sword has been real good to us. And um, there's some argument to be made that now we kind of swap over and go um, go uh, Smite sword. Oh, that didn't work well. Creep 
Chopper over there, but not coming at us yet. Ah! Alright, let's start a new cycle here, guys. Oh, he came in hot! <laughs> Didn't he? You're the one I'm really worried about. Ah. Uh, Oh, no. Oh, that was a mistake. Come on back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I could have at least gotten the creeper. Oh, it adds so much more entertainment for me. Even yeah, for you guys. A lot more cringing. All right, creeper. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. Game. Listen. <sighs> and what is up with these, like, two little blocks that are just hanging out? Messing up all the... Sounds like two. I guess now we'll see. Yeah, I don't mind this. It may not be as efficient gathering as we'd like, but it's kind of fun. And we're getting to play with our new trident. I won't, at this point, swap out the totem. I think that's a little over aggressive. Maybe when we've gone for a little bit. And uh, why is this so awful at range? There. Take that. Jesus. Sorry. Uh, it was more a pray prayer for serenity than any kind of a uh, Attempt to offend. <laughs> well, I guess it's reassuring that I can't hit anything with a bow either. Uh... There we go. <laughs> I figured it was about time. For real? I'm gonna dump my coffee here. Get desk slammy. It's just the game's way of saying, you're too good. Ah! It's supposed to come back to me. I wait for them to get in close so that their hitbox is unmissable. And then it goes right past them. Where'd he go? Oh, missed. I guess I should. Is it. Yeah, okay, so I can not throw and just. Uh, so I'm left-clicking on those. Rarely do I use that, but in terms of the phantoms, maybe that's a better uh, use when they're in on top of me. That whole, like... You don't mind it as much with the archery when they seemingly go right through the hitbox. And maybe that's my fault. I mean, I guess I could study up a bit more on all right any day the 
burning zombies first. Ah, well, that was a pretty decent night. Now, how are we doing on our supplies? Not too bad. Our, our supplies, our inventory. Um, it seems very hangy out of that. I guess he's sitting on a tree. Nope. You made me think my game had hung. Maybe he was stuck in a vine? So we need to get some more of these trees done. And I really... Oh wait, I thought there was lava around here. Hadn't we seen that? I don't know where it got to. That was just misidentifying. Well, I don't. I don't think we should dismiss it too completely. Hey guys, you're all little, right? I'll just let you hang out. No sense in. Harassing the little little guy slimes, and yeah, that's why we have a bow, a good one. Not giving up the uh, <laughs> tried and true combat methods, especially when our bow could one shot out. I thought those were creepers. Don't make me. Make me eradicate you little baby slimes. For now, we're all hanging out, being friends. See, so yeah, I think we'll use uh, until the inventory is full in here, just to prepare. I think this is still going to work out fine on our timing. Um, basically, set everything up as much as possible, probably get one more night of combat in, and then... Then come back and hit everything with the shovel for clay. Clay is why we're here, for anybody who didn't know. Um, and we will have to swap our shovels. Let's not forget that. But I envision another trip down the water elevator before we really get to our clay. So we're just sort of filling up here anyway. Yeah, somewhere far underground is our the mine where we've been hanging out. And by clearing this, we get a little more of ease in the night. It won't change the amount of mobs, but makes them just easier to kind of deal with. Especially the phantoms, like those little leaf blocks are so annoying to uh, have them kind of line up and turn. I'd rather just have them come at me and not get blocked. No apples, though, huh? Oh, there's an apple. Is that another? No, those are fish. I think we've done enough of the fish, at least for the moment. When we get to cats, we'll... Want a whole bunch of raw. There's worth taking the turnaround slowly for the apples because we need those badly. Um, don't know. I don't think that fortune axes help for apples, do they? And we're using silk touch right here. It doesn't. I don't even know that I have a fortune axe. I guess I made one, right? Because we at first thought it might help in our spruce tree farm. I found that out the conclusive way. It doesn't. Uh, apples? Apples over here. Anywhere we can get some apples. There's one. Vine broken. Ooh, another one. Apple.
Those are going to be so good. That's weird. Um, so anyway, uh, didn't talk about last episode, um, uh, but you guys may have noticed being October, I've kind of made it a point to watch some spooky or otherwise Halloween-themed movies. Watched two uh, two movies last night, and uh, for those of you guys who uh, had been following along, or uh, at least you know just caught up on the streams. Uh, a couple nights ago, it's it's a Tuesday now, and on Sunday I had uh, gone through Steam and gotten um, OSRS, or Old School RuneScape, uh, which is a game I'd played back in right in the window. Uh, old School RuneScape. The game RuneScape persisted. Uh, it used to be. Uh, and I looked at the copyright dates. St first copyright was 1999. So I was way off on the initial dates. Uh, I first discovered it maybe 2005 or six, And played it maybe through 2008. I don't know if it went that long or not. Um, but it was... Uh, it is a Java-based uh, MMO... And was kind of, at the time, I don't know how revolutionary it was. And I said earlier, like, it predated WoW and stuff like that. It certainly did for me. And I think probably for a lot of folks, it was uh, it was kind of a gateway. I, I don't know if that's the case. I, I don't know how many people, you know, found the others first or anything. But for me, it was kind of this this crossover of the technology i'd played locally loaded pc games and stuff like that but i'd never uh, until runescape i'd never pre played anything that had an online connection and being that it was java based and um kind of low intensity on the graphics and everything it it fit that time when People were transitioning from dial-up type connections to a, like a DSL line or, or something higher speed. Um, and that fit fit my bill particularly. Um, worked in IT, had an, an internet connection sometimes. Very occasionally worked from home at first. Um, and eventually, uh, you know, a decade and a half before COVID and this whole buzzword of, you know, work from home and video conferencing and all that. That's what I did. I, I did and supported that for a long time um, before it had ever been a thing. And uh, it was a blast. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, you know, as people talk about this whole, like, and, and I guarantee there was going to be a knee-jerk Back in two years, probably. I think it's still, I think it's still building. Right now, companies are the ones that are kind of coming to terms with we uh, we kind of like this, right? We get all our employees. We um, we don't have to pay for their office, their office supplies. You know, they they don't have to take off early or or even talk to us about having kids that need to go to school or anything like that. They just go take care of their business and it's all done. Um, and that's a, uh, it's a pretty good thing. Let me just get a bearing on our time. We're at 34 minutes. So I think this is kind of good. Let's get, let's go try to swap either way. If we, I'm afraid it's going to be night when we come back out. We're going to have to kind of fight our way back out to the swamp. Uh, but we're warriors. We can handle that. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So right now, you know, 
everybody's like, oh, yeah, work from home. And companies are like, bottom line, our expenses go down a ton. They haven't started to realize, realize in a financial sense, accounting sense, right? Like you realize profits or you realize uh, cost savings. And in this case, are realizing cost savings from not having to pay uh, for, you know, right now it's things like stocking the break room or the, you know, the free coffee and that kind of stuff. Like all those contracts and all those things ripple effect going away, right? They're, they're very slowly but surely um, turning over and don't have to be renewed. Now you can go up because you guys are all fortune. So I do have a, a tree fortune axe. Um, I'm not going to worry about that particular science experiment. All right, this is where we want to try to fight our way clear and get back over to the swamp if we can without losing our fence. Anybody there? Nope. Oh, on the right direction. Boom. Boom. Away from that side? Not yet. All right. Now, one more night of kind of combat, and then we will work to get any and all of the clay that's around here. Um, I guess between times, since we got a bunch of water here, we can keep working on trees. Very oh, spidey. Phantoms can't do much to us under here, I don't imagine. But we'll... Ah! Ah! Why'd that go so far underground? Not the best place to try to maintain combat. Come on. Get your side. There we go. Alright, sugar cane. So again, it's more about the visibility than grabbing any particular items until we get to the clay. Let's see you up there, extra block. All these can go away. Not so invisible once I hit you with the flames, are you, spider? for him to... Oh, I don't want to fall into that double deep pond. Sheep, you're, you're in dangerous real estate here, pal.
guessing whatever phase of moon this is, it's... Oh. Why am I not hitting anything? I do have golden apples. Maybe should switch those onto my toolbar. Alright, no, that is not done. Now it is. Get uh, somewhere wet because these guys are little buggers. You light them on fire, they don't die, and then they keep coming back and lighting you on fire. That's not nice. I don't like it. What you gonna do over there, huh? Apparently nothing. I see you, Apple. Don't despawn before the other block does. Uh, ooh, drowned. <sighs> ooh, nice. Alright, let's get back over here a bit. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Was that? Go away. Oh, I had that. Ah. Oh. You can overlook Apple. Oh, we got a whole new batch of them, huh? Yeah. Oh, now that I'm getting dialed in on my timing, you guys look out. That's when the creeper's coming. Ah. The moon's going down. Hey! something. I'm fine. Yeah, you guys do do your thing. Boom. Stop. Really? I get one hit out of that? Wood. Probably gonna get some last little swarm here in the pre dawn dark. That's usually how it goes. Maybe not. A membrane. Oh, lots of apples. Spider noises. Copper. 
apples mean target uh we are not fully done so let's push out our trees here one more time those nights just such a time suck when we're trying to coordinate the episode length. Like, I don't know that I can afford another whole night of combat and then still have time to get any clay. Thought that would happen. Alright, well, let's, for better or worse, load up on our clays. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a mess. We're going to get a lot of dirt we don't want. There's another spot, I guess, where it would be nice if we had some lava. See, we don't get much chance to swim under underground in a mine shaft, do we? So this is kind of nice. Get up and down and up and down. That's sand, but this is clay. Get. I'm usually pretty good about, like, don't waste blocks, right? But I think this may be a rare exception where uh, we are going to try to ditch dirt once we stop grabbing clay. Uh, oh, I'm not going to skip those apples, though. Saplings, too. We've got a load of oak, oak saplings already. And again, I thought I had seen some lava at some point, but... Sure hasn't been visible uh, through the nights, which is when it would usually show up. But I wouldn't mind ditching some of these extras. that I really thought somewhere back this way why did these keep but maybe it was just, is there like a lichen or something in there? I don't know. Wishful thinking. What we don't need wishful thinking for is finding all this. Looks so nice. Still have some space. had run into it before the invisible blocks. Not much we can do other than just try to deal with it. Get out of the way, fish. I, don't want, I have no, no beef with you, fish. It feels like the day's almost done, but clearly not. Uh, 
insert here. Okay, we are almost absolutely jammed, and I almost guarantee, yep, there we go, that if we look around, there will be something floating around. Okay, well, before we get sucked into swapping out inventory and all that, I think we're going to go back. Uh, we'll check our time. And I'm thinking right now we're going to go all the way back to base. And fortune what we do have, start it cooking, and wrap up this episode and the abandoned mine stuff um, for the day, for my RL day, the play session, because I've got one more episode I'd love to do, and um, basically has nothing to do with this. All right, real quick, what's the time? 52, we can do this. Uh, we may not be able to do the fortuning, but uh, all right, Teal, you get the clay. Uh, we gotta put more random stuff in. I think all the tree-ish stuff is gonna go in here. Sticks don't need to. We're gonna keep those. There's already some of that and that. And bones, gunpowder, string we want to hang on to. Spider eyes are there. Uh, dirt and lily pads and apples. Zombie flesh. Good, 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 good. More dirt stuff's there. Franny. I'm going to have to leave you to your own devices for a bit here, but let's see what we can uh, swap up before we go. We don't even get the, like, money sound effect. Alright, the XP, I mean. Not enough feathers. Uh... Not enough flints. Okay. Oh, there it was. It was just caught on the fence. Take all these. So we're going back. Leave that. Alright. I think we have enough room. Just grab everything. Kind of going frantic here. But I don't have a ton of time to waste. And I'd like to get as much of this done, the sorting and the cleaning up and all that, as I can before we wrap up this episode so we got all the time for the next one. And we were at 52. Come on. No stopping for coffee in case there's lava slimes waiting for us. Dun, dun, dun. Go, go, go. Nothing good. Brown shulker right there. Left empty. Uh, this one can go beside it because it is loaded. You go here. Boom, boom, boom. Empty. Empty. Tools. Goodies. Uh, nothing here yet. I thought I had stuff for you. That can go away. Trade it out with that. Oh, it's a little bit chaotic. We're going to dump the emeralds. We're going to check the leather cap. I don't think I have a full suit of leather yet. We'll just go, go until we're out of time, and then uh, switch back over. Man, that seems very shifty, shaky kind of deal. Uh, actually, I think these can go here. 
those are clays these are all randoms this may have some stuff and this may have some stuff logs we can go apples we want i'm not gonna make them but we want them here those all fit nicely on the top saplings and all that i'll take downstairs train stuff leather pants slimes can go downstairs that's gonna come out that's gonna come out these i think all right this, 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 these, that, 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 might as well. Oh, so many more mine carts. Alright, food stuff. There, there. Oh, sugar cane here, there. Oh, I think I have pearls some in here. No, I don't. Uh, bread. I'm getting turned around a little bit. Logs here and there. Do I not have a... I don't have a home for birch logs anymore. Poor little birch logs. Gold. Copper. Rails. I... I guess it's just not having loaded and not slowing down on opening all these chests, making this really jumpy. It is for me too, it's not just the video. Just apologize. Expect it will catch up shortly. Alright, this was a silk touch book. I mean, I guess we might as well hang on to that, right? Pants. We've already got. Great. What do I do with that cap? Goes there. Um, because I don't want to make another trip, I'm just going to put this book here. It'll be a fun little surprise at some point, or maybe we're gearing up at some point to go over and get it then. I think I'll take the bow downstairs, because I think we're pretty... Get off the ladder. I think we're pretty well done here. We got these. We'll put that away. Oh, we got other books. You go down there. Um, look at the sea and impaling. Those we can scrub. All right, let's pull all this random stuff. I noticed those seeds. Those seeds. I think so much more of this is just going to... I'm going to be a little bit short. But I won't be if I do go back up here now. I wasn't going to put the bow in. I really don't need to, but... Since we're here and it'll give us more space, I'll do that. That one's done. Pick up that. Oh, I still have two, right? Good. Alright, we'll check the time here. I don't know if we're going to make it to any more yet, and I really don't want to... Intentionally go over seeds there and there. Time an hour. Okay. Well, we did. We got a good start. Um, we will do the blocks and uh, fortune the clay at the beginning of the next episode, and then we will uh, go on an adventure. And again, the big hint on that one: we want to do something with the spyglass. So. Uh, keep that in mind, and we will see you back here for the next one. As always, thanks so much for watching. Ride pigs if you got them. I don't know where a pig would be, and they're all... Uh, most of the pigs you see are fairly small. You don't see the big honking pigs that you used to. Anyway, <laughs> don't ride a pig. It could be cruelty to the pig, unless you're very small, and the pig is very friendly. Anyway, take care of yourselves, enjoy the break, and I will see you back here for the next video. Bye now.